Congratulations, the hardest part of making the app is over, setting up all of the buttons and links. Now we get to the fun part of adding content. So now that I have all of my links, I'm ready to begin. I'm going to start with my cat pics and I'm going to add my animated cat GIF that I made. Uh, if you're not sure how to add your animated GIF, check out the video in Classroom on converting your slideshows into an animated GIF using tall tweets. And then I'm going to do the same thing with dog pics and add my dogs. Then I'm going to go in and add the rest of my information here. Um, I have my book review, so I'm going to add either a text box or a shape. Either one will work. Because I have such a dark, busy background, I'm actually going to add a shape in here. And I'm going to go with a slightly different shade of purple. But this time, I'm also going to come back to this paint bucket. And I'm going to go to Custom after I've chosen my color. And I'm going to adjust the transparency about halfway. So now the background actually shows through a little. But when I add my text, it's a little easier to read. If I want, I can add images. So maybe um, I can go look for a book cover for this, add the book cover. But again, make sure you are adding citations for images that you are using. On cool links, again, the same thing, either a text box or a shape. Uh, let's see, this time I think I'll use a different shape. Let's go with a little post-it note shape. That one's kind of fun. And I'm going to do the same thing, get my custom color. It's now saved under custom now that I've adjusted that one. And I'm going to come in here and add my links. I like having a bulleted list here. So I'm going to do slam and And let's see, I need one more. Let's go with Tinkercad. Now I can adjust the font and size on these. I'm going to make them quite a bit bigger. Change my font, make it nice and fat and easy to read. You can change the color if you want. And then just highlight and add links. Now, by default, um, slides will choose a color for your links. If you don't like the color that your links are, simply highlight, come up to your text color button, and choose something different. I'm going to go with a nice bright purple there. For my playlist, on this one, I simply went to YouTube. And went to, let's see, let me switch over here and see what we can find. Go to my playlists and I can find a playlist that I want to use. I go with my scratch playlist. Click the share button, copy the link, and then on my app, I can add a button, I can add an image, I can add text, and link it directly to my playlist. So I'm just going to add a shape in here. There you go with the sun. And I'm going to link that directly to my YouTube playlist. You could also link it to a Spotify playlist or any other type of playlist you can get a link for. 
And I'm just going to add a text box down here at the bottom. Up my size a bit. And if you need to, change your font color. Once you have all of your items in, make sure you test your app to make sure all of your links work and you're happy with the way it looks. When you are finished, it is time to share out your app. In order to share your app, we're gonna make this a little bit easier. Um, I'm gonna click the share button up here at the top and I'm going to get link. Anyone on the internet with this link can view and I'm gonna copy the link. Now that link, is a very long, confusing link. It's going to look very similar to this one up here. So to make it easier for people, I'm gonna to go to a URL shortener, tiny URL, and I'm going to paste in my long one. And let's see, I can customize it here. Let's call this Ms. M app and make tiny URL. Oh. This one is not available. Someone else is using it. Shocking. So I'm going to do Ms. M app of awesome. And try that one. That one worked. So now I can copy that link and share it with folks and they will be able to get to my app. Make sure when you are done your app that you turn it in in classroom.